In times like these, it's easy to get distracted by what's going on around us. We're currently going through a pandemic, as well as a recession. A pandemic and a recession happening concurrently was nothing anyone saw coming when the ball dropped at 12 midnight on January 1st of this year. But four months into 2020, and that is where we sit. With more and more people losing their jobs, having family get sick, or getting sick themselves, as well as being home all the time with family and children, the last thought that anyone has is to be fruitful. But that is the key to life as far as I can see. I look at it through the lens of business. If you are fruitful, you're constantly producing product, constantly producing content, constantly producing material, social media. You're constantly innovating. To be fruitful means to allow your creative nature to not only come alive, but to flourish. The average person I know is not happy. And it's not necessarily because of what's happening now, because many of them were unhappy before. It's because they aren't in touch with their creative selves, I believe. They don't innovate anything. Everything is so regimented, processed, and SOP'd to death. I get part of that. It's a part of corporate life, and order is needed to some extent. You can see a person slowly dying inside because they can't be the creative child they once were. When we were children, we had to abide by rules or there'd be trouble. We longed to become adults so that we could finally do what we wanted to do, only to be trapped in a different kind of bondage, one that demands conformity. I know what the average person will say. What about bills and responsibilities? To which I would answer, if you think you can't be creative and pay your bills, then you've really been lied to. Many of the richest people in the world got there because they dared to tap into their God creative gifts. You were given a gift and this gift expresses the real you. This gift is a gift to the world if you choose to give it. Most people don't know what their gifts are and they usually die without developing them. Highly creative people don't need a pattern to produce something. They just do it. The thing that comes easy to you, that causes other people to struggle in the doing of it, is your gift. Exercising your gift and expressing your gift goes far beyond money. If happiness were the only payoff, you'd be better for it. And that added joy would draw more of what you need and want anyway. So I challenge you to sit in the silence and ask yourself, what is my gift? The answer might surprise you, although ultimately it will make sense. And when you find that out, begin immediately to develop that gift and watch your life transform before your very eyes.